Hey, RHS. Welcome back to another day of school. About to go crazy. And this is your guide to Daily Dose. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, RHS. I'm Eddie Nosnagel. And I'm Dalen Body. And this is your daily dose for Wednesday, October the 9th, 2019. It's Band Sweet Week this week, the annual tradition in our music department. Sweet Week events include Boys Hush Day, Visco Frat Day Today, Be Another Musician Day Tomorrow, and Show Day, Section Day, Senior Appreciation Day on Friday. Voting for Band Sweetheart will be tomorrow during lunches, and King Cutie and Band Sweetheart will be crowned at the football game on Friday. Since the band competes on Saturday at the Novi Invitational, the Band Sweetheart Dance will be Saturday, November 16th. The Wyandotte Marching Chiefs have some other cool news. They made it to the top 10 for the WDIV Top 10 Marching Band and Spirit Squad finalists. Now we just need you to help to get them to the top spot. You can vote once per hour until October the 13th on the Local 4 website. Advanced Team Sports just finished up their flag football season and the playoffs. Trey and Aiden found out about the tough competition. Hey RHS, today we're taking a deeper look into Advanced Team Sports Football Championship. So what was your team's record? Um, we were 0-7 at the start and then we were undefeated in the tournament. Who was your team's hardest competition? Um, probably the team with Hayden and Nico on it. Um, I think I'd have to give it to Drew. Um, he surprised me on the defensive side of the ball, you know, clutched up and got the game-saving pick. So yeah. Who were the players on your team? Uh, our team was comprised of me, Drew, Rocio, Trey, Chris, and um, Nick Sledge. Who would you say is your team's MVP? Um, I would say we, we all worked as a team. We had uh, no one in particular stand out. But if I did have to say one, I would say Elliot Bernays. What was your team's overall record? Uh, in, the, in the preseason, we went one, one, two, and two. And then we went undefeated in the playoffs. You know, won the championship. Who was your team's hardest competition? Um, we really didn't have any competition, you know, like we're the best in the, in the in the class, so no one could really like play with us, you know. Who were the people on your team? Um, it was me, Jimmy Bro, Shane Neal, uh, Gerald, and Rook. Who was your team's hardest competition? Um, I don't know who was specifically on that team, but they were actually ranked as the number one seed, and we beat them in the championship. Uh, we lost to them earlier in um, our regular season games, and they just slept on us, bro, and we just had to beat them in the championship. Who would you say is your team's MVP? I mean, no doubt. We had double trouble kind of going on. Uh, every time we were in red zone, I'd always toss it up to my boy Jimmy Bro. Um, he'd always come in clutch with the... The high hands. Man, those are some exciting games. Now back to the anchors. This week, the art club will be meeting in the art room on Thursday after school from 3 to 4. All are welcome. Also, anyone interested in joining the National Art Society, the group is meeting in the art room on Thursday at, from 3 to 3.30. It is also $5 to join for the year. RHS Book Club members, if you still haven't picked up your book, club book, please pick it up from Mr. Baker ASAP. The Quizville team lost 10 seniors last year. They are looking to add to the team. Come check out this academic challenge during practices on Monday from 3 to 4 p.m. in room B212. If you are interested, please see Mr. Curtis for more information. The RHS Girls Club had its first meeting Monday, but new members are always welcome. They meet Mondays in the teacher's lounge right after school. Now here's Cameron with sports. Tennis had leagues on Monday. One singles Elias Bernays finished for, finish for fourth. Third signal, Sam Oswald earned a third place finish on the double side and won double teams on Hunter Sergis and Lucas Mersch. It finished second. On the third double team, uh, Mateo Hernoves and Nick Hickey got third. And fourth double, Jason Jackson and Garrett Sergis earned third place. The tennis team will have regionals on Thursday all day. Good luck, guys. 
Girls Volleyball had a game yesterday against Lincoln Park, and Girls Swim had a meet against Riverview at home. More on that tomorrow. That's all the sports. Now back to you, Dalen. Thanks, Cameron. Peer to Peer is hosting a unified basketball tournament on Saturday, November 2nd at 5 p.m. The group is looking for students to sign up to play in the tournament. See Ms. Clefani to sign up. Freshman year is an adjustment to most students as they get used to life in high school. Let's see how they're settling in. Hey RHS, ninth grade is tough. Let's go see how they're handling it. What was the transition like from middle school to high school? Uh, smooth, kind of, because I got helped a lot by the teachers and stuff to find uh, my different classes. Um, you get a lot more freedom than you do in middle school, and just the classes are harder to get to, though. Uh, it was pretty easy. All the teachers and my friends helped out a lot. Uh, it's been different. Um, mostly just the same, just a bigger school and, like, more people. But it's fun. It's better than middle school. So, yeah. What was your first impression of Roosevelt? Orientation and getting to visit around the school and seeing all the many classes. Um, it's bigger and there's more people and teachers. It was pretty big, but I got used to it faster. What are you hoping to accomplish this year? All A's, I guess. Uh, 4.0 GPA. Yeah. Um, you know, to get good grades, you know, don't get in trouble. Get good grades, enjoy it, and have fun. Um, getting all A's and being a good student, not getting suspended. Glad the transition went smooth. Now back to the anchors. Keep working hard and staying focused, freshmen. The seniors are well used to the building and are thinking about the next step, college. College visits are underway. University of Michigan will be here 6th hour today. And the University of Detroit Mercy will be here during 7th hour on Friday. Lawrence Tech, Wayne State, and Norfolk will all be here next week. If you're interested in any of these schools, see Mrs. Morris to sign up. Future college visits include Eastern Michigan, Madonna, Lake Superior State, Grand Valley, and Saginaw Valley. Saginaw Valley will host an on-site admissions day in early November. Don't forget that the homework den is open every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 3 to 4 in the Media Center. Stop on by to get some extra help. Happy birthday yesterday to Fielden Hall, Zachary Mullins, Nyana Nellums Ferguson, Victoria Shalada, and Benjamin Spaulding. And happy birthday today to Alexis Brand, Justin Harrell, and Caden Suave. Hey, Dalen, why was the geometry book sad? I don't know why. Because it had too many problems. Say that to your <laughs>